Hi there and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to show you how to make one of these really amazing 12 pointed mandalas made out of a photograph of, can you believe it, a cloud. Okay, to do this we're going to need to be in photo P. In photo P we need to have a photograph of a cloud, so here we go. We need to rescale our photograph of the cloud to 50% of its original height. So type in 50 and we've now got a smaller cloud. Drag it over to the corner. We then need to use the layer menu to duplicate the layer. We then you need to use the move tool to move the layer over so we've got two clouds next to each other. We need to go to the edit menu, transform and flip horizontally. Then we need to go to the layer menu, make sure we see what we're doing. We go to the layer menu, we go to merge down and we have a layer with both of the pictures in. We then go to the layer menu again. Duplicate layers, we move this layer up to the top, we then go to edit, transform, flip vertical. We've done one of these before, so you're probably familiar with this technique. The next bit is we're going to merge the layers together again. So this time we're going to go to flatten image because it's quicker. Once we've flattened the image, it's we've just got one background. So we're going to go to layer menu again, duplicate that layer, and this time we're going to go to edit, transform, rotate, and we're going to scroll across and type in 60 degrees. Okay, and then we're going to go to the layer and we're going to make it slightly see-through so you can see what we're doing. So you can see we're starting to get this pattern effect. We'll go back to full opacity. We will then go to the layer menu and duplicate that layer. And we will go to the edit menu and transform that, rotating it another 60 degrees so that we will end up with a pattern that looks like this. We'll then go to the layer menu and we'll change the layer modes to overlay on the top one and on the middle one. And we will then end up with an image like this. We will then go to our layer menu and we will flatten the image again. And you can see we've got a six pointed bit of symmetry, which is beautiful in itself. We'll then go to the layer menu. We will go to duplicate that layer one more time. We will then go to the edit, transform, and this time we'll rotate it 90 degrees. And you'll see it's that way around. Now we just need to go to the layer menu and change the layer mode to multiply. And there is our beautiful pattern. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy making these beautiful symmetrical patterns out of photographs. You can see they're really good fun and any picture tessellated and rotated will create these amazing images. It links back to our work on patterns that we've been doing lately and um, enjoy. Obviously, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.